Hey Virgo, welcome to your October reading. This is a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Horizon. Okay. Okay, Virgo, let's see what's going on. Six of Pentacles, okay. The Tower, geez. Okay. The World Card and the Chariot. Oh, wow. Okay. So, what I do see here. is out of the blue trying to restore balance in your life or you are trying to restore balance in your life by moving out moving away from the location where you're at because with the world in the chair it's like this is running for the hills really i feel like even if somebody's coming back like uh, romantically you don't want them you're running away from them here because you want to end this cycle you want to move on you want to move forward if this is love, if this is work, I see finance is doing well, much better even with the six of pentacles. But some of you here, especially if there's a Libra that you were sharing finances with, it's like they could be a little bit wishy-washy. And with the tower here, it's like you either want them to move out or you want to move out. It's like you were helping them too much and now, you know, you got financial issues of your own to deal with. Now, I'm also seeing Scorpio energy, Taurus, yeah, Cancer. Could be other fixed signs, but I'm not getting it so much. Maybe a Leo. But um, also, some of you here, you received shocking news, whatever that means. Maybe somebody came to visit you out of the blue. I'm sorry for these sounds. That's my dog, and I just can't do anything about it. Well, one of them. It's like you picked up your karmic lessons. And you're ready to rumble, Virgos. The cleaning karma happened. Maybe some of you are going to clean your karma by moving out. Others of you are going to clean your karma by doing more charity work. Or you should be doing less charity work and more self-work, some of you. But I'm definitely seeing somebody coming to you from the distance or announcing that they're coming. Something like this. But I don't like it. I don't like it because with the tower, it's. N I don't feel like it's the pleasant news. Or even if it's pleasant news, you're like, oh, I saw it coming, but okay, whatever. I'm letting this shit go. Because I still see you guys, whether or not somebody's coming back around. I feel like you said goodbye to something with a six of pentacles here. Goodbye sanity, maybe. Or like goodbye stability with a tower and a six of pentacles. It's like I'm going to risk this and you're moving out, you're traveling places. It's like doing something, you know, out of the blue. But I'm also seeing here, like, if there were, like, three people in the equation, you're out of the picture, if this is romance. It's like you're not part of this anymore, and you're not interested in being there. I'm seeing you guys going full speed ahead, but let's see. What's the overall theme for Virgos for October? Knight of Swords. See, there's going to be apologies coming in, more truth. Aquarius now, Gemini energy here. This is, this is some shit. Oh, what is this, guys? This is like disputes, dramas, and arguments also. Just so you know. But let's see what this is about. But I see a lot of, a lot of news coming in. A lot of like good and bad communications happening. But I'm seeing a sincere apology, maybe from a fire sign even. 
It also is a theme, mind your communication. So we got the Nine of Swords, Knight of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune. Definitely, guys, something, something here. Okay. So with the Nine of Swords here, this is going to be... Ew. You guys are still anxious. You guys are still worried. You guys are still the same good old Virgos. I'm a Virgo too. Don't get me wrong. But you know, sometimes this nine of swords is like you're feeding your own fears because you're focusing too much of your energy on what you give. And then you give and don't get things back. And with the nine of swords, it's like maybe it's time to do a reality check here. It's like if you're not getting anything back, it's time to let it go. Be more like be more free spirited, you know? Like let go of your beliefs. That's why the tower is here. So don't be worried about the tower. Don't be worried about this closure. Don't be worried about travel, new beginning, you know, like you moving things forward. You're leaving things behind. I wouldn't be worried if I were you, Virgos. Because with the Knight of Wands, this like you, this is you. You wanna take action. You wanna or you want someone to take action. But I feel like this person is inconsistent. They're not really able to give or they're not really able to, you know, even if they come in, they're not going to be giving you what you need. You expect honesty. You expect, you know, somebody to be truthful, but they come in as the Knight of Wands. They come in to mess around. Some of you all, you want this unstable person because they, you know, kind of like... Get you out of your comfort zone. Now, this is interesting. The world and the wheel of fortune. These are both about karmic endings and karmic changes, right? So now with the wheel of fortune, there is somebody external to you that's coming in out of the blue or that's coming back around. Or there's a, some roles are shifting here. Whatever you let go of, emotionally, financially, it's like, I feel like finances are going to get much better. There can be an unexpected um, stream of cash coming, in, coming your way, maybe unexpected inheritance. For the others of you, you know, what you thought was done and over, maybe with, with a job offer, maybe you got rejected for a job offer. You're going to get accepted, like something like this, you know, but... Uh, whatever the Wheel of Fortune is about, where this is about person coming back into your life, somebody trying to make peace with you. Again, careful what you say. Don't be too quick on the, you know, don't be too quick on the words. But you don't see this coming here. Now, with the King of Swords, it's in your fierce position. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> See what's going on, Virgos. You guys, you want all this adventure, you want all this excitement and fun, and it's gonna be offered to you, but when it comes in, you're gonna be like, oh man, should I back down from this? Is this crazy what I'm doing? Like, am I supposed, like your logic is telling you, no, don't go for it. If it's love, and if it's work, I feel like your logic is like, fuck logic. You know, like, I, I don't matter. It's taking, I'm taking you into the right direction. It's like your soul is doing some searching. Your soul is trying to push you in the direction that is for you. But with love, it's like, am I nuts? Aquarian energy here as well. But there was stagnancy here that's about to speed up. Whatever this is with, okay? You moving out. Health could be improving as well. <coughs> but there are unexpected news coming from the distance, okay? So if, if you apply, for example, for a job in France, in Italy, or somewhere around, out of your country, wherever that is. <coughs> I don't know what's going on with my sneezing today. You're getting these news. And I feel like for most of you, it's going to be positive news. But what's going to be negative is going to be your approach to it. It's like, oh my God, if I take this, I got to sacrifice this. Well, you know, the tower comes in. They take away what you don't need so you can focus on what you need. And where you got to go. You got to go, Virgo. You got to go. 
but I'm really like interested in what the Wheel of Fortune will be about. I'm not going to do any clarifiers. Oh, okay, unexpected pregnancy as well for some of you, or unexpected growth. But I wish you a lot of luck with whatever the Wheel of Fortune brings because this seems good. And I do see victory coming up if, if you take the leap. If it's some psycho bullshit from the past, like uh, love-wise or whatever, I don't know, think twice, okay? Don't overthink it, but just like wait the pros and cons, all right? What's the overall outcome for Virgos? The Empress, okay, this is good. Growth, yeah, there's growth, okay? Whether this is a relationship, whether this is signing a contract, whether th whatever this is that you wanna create, guys, there's a three people here, meaning I feel like the third person is going to be a baby, a pregnancy. If this is love, if this is work, this is awesome. This is really awesome, guys. You're like in your zone, like the mojo is on. It's like you're unstoppable. Whatever you were trying to make a decision on, you're going to make the decision on it. And, it, and it's going to be the right th decision for most of you, Virgos. Creative outburst is also possible here as well. Nurturing your talents, if that means anything to you. It's like you shifted from the Knight of Swords, someone who doesn't want to hear thing. Hear a thing, hear, hear any sort of bullshit. You're becoming someone who's compassionate, caring, loving. It's like you're not holding grudges because something really good is coming up. And it's like, whatever. I'm seriously seeing you guys like, whatever, you know. I'm too chill. I'm too in my zone to give a, to give a shit. <laughs> All right, now what's the Oracle for Virgos for October? This is a very good reading, actually. Magic, holy shit, another three. 33, okay, and then we have a number three here, meaning alignment, body, mind, spirit here. You're being helped, you're being guided. Whatever, you know, the universe brings or whatever you believe in, you know, it's there for you to take it. It's there for you to create if it feels good, it's yours to take. If it feels awkward or like something is off, you'll know. Or even if you if you do if you choose something that's not for you, it's not going to last for a long time before it's taken away. I'm loving this. It's like you got to remember guys, you are magic. You got, you know, you are the one who is in charge of the, you know, wheel of destiny basically. You know, you're going to be presented with something about which choice you make is going to be yours and yours only. Maybe have the different outcome, but, you know. But you don't see this coming, Virgo. You don't see this coming, whatever this is. Okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.